Now we will install OpenFiler operating system which will act like a SAN storage for our rack installation. Here it is asking us to test the CD which we can skip. Now when the installer starts we can go to the next screen. We will select US English for the keyboard. On this screen we will confirm it to automatically partition the hard drives. It will confirm to erase all the data. We have two disks so it lasts two times. Now remember we can remove all the Linux partitions on the system but we will format only the first drive SDA which is a 10 GB. We don't need to review partitions we can continue. It will confirm one more time to erase all the data. Now on this screen you can see we have two Ethernet ports or Ethernet cards. We will configure them to have static IPs. ETH0 we will use it for public uh, Ethernet. We will use ETH1 as the private Ethernet and private interconnect which will provide the SAN storage over private network. Uh, we will also name the host name as openfiler.mydomain. It is suggesting us to fill out the gateway and primary DNS information. We will just continue without filling them. It is ok to ignore them at this point. Eastern time zone is good enough. Now we will choose a right password, a complicated one. Now we can start the install. Once the installation is complete uh, we will have to reboot this particular virtual machine and we have to finish the post install. Reboot the server now. After rebooting we will look for administration URL so you can notice here web administration GUI is running at 192.168.0.175.446.446 is the port. Uh, 